Hello and welcome to this week's Bolsover TV. My name is Michael. Here's what's coming up on the programme. Work on a new skate park has got underway in an effort to produce the next Olympic star. Help is available to make life easier for those with hearing problems. A community speedwatch scheme is helping to raise awareness of speeding motorists in Blackwell Parish. And Sam from Bolsover is sowing the seeds for a blooming business in the town. But first, progress on the construction of a further 21 new council homes in Whitwell is going very well. The roofs are now on, making the homes watertight, and work is now concentrating on areas such as driveways, roads and landscaping before they can be handed over to the council and people can move in. The council is investing £36 million into the Bolsover Home Scheme, which has already seen 16 new properties built in Whitwell, with more proposed for Warley Thorns and Shirebrook over the coming months. This significant investment is part of the council's ambitions to transform unused or underutilised land into beautiful new homes. The council say that it will provide families in the area with a good quality home for years to come. And they're making sure that the right property, be it family homes, flats or bungalows for the elderly, are built in the right place and they meet a local need. There's six here, there's 21 in total on the site, there's some just around the corner that aren't quite finished yet, but these are almost finished and ready for handover to our client Balls over District Council. Like I say, two bedroom properties ready for some new families. So we've got, you know, this is year two of a four year framework. We're just into year two of the build. So, you know, over the four years, we're hoping to deliver many more properties in many more areas um, and improving the housing stock in Balls over District Council. Every time we turn up at site here to see the progress that's been made, particularly during challenges such as the pandemic that we've been having, um, I think seeing what's been achieved by both the site team and the supply chain uh, is just fantastic. I mean, you can't fault these properties and I think they're going to make fantastic uh, homes for the families that move into them in the future. Now, skateboarding has always been popular with young people, but after the success of the great British athletes at Tokyo Olympics last year, the sport's popularity has now soared. And to help nurture the next top talent, work on a new skate park in Cretwell has now got underway. The new park is being built on Colliery Road and will accommodate all types of wheeled sports, such as scooters, skateboards, BMX, and inline skaters. We spoke to local councillor Duncan McGregor to see how work has been progressing. Uh, Duncan, we spoke a few weeks ago about a new health and wellbeing centre. There's now going to be, or we knew there was going to be an extra addition, but uh, that's beginning to take shape as well. So tell us all about Creswell's new skate park. Yeah, very exciting times for, for uh, the residents of Creswell and surrounding area. Now the skate park was uh, uh, given, a study was done by Big Local, who's actually financed uh, this particular skate park, uh, asking young people what they would like in terms of leisure uh, now that we've got this the leisure centre up. And th they came down in favour of a skate park. They'll be able to use it, it's child friendly, it's been specifically um, constructed by Maverick who have got uh, well versed in this type of work. Um, so altogether very happy. Every single part of the concept of the ledger centre, of the uh, skate park, and the cricket ground, and all that area, uh, has all been under public consultation. In other words, we've been asking the people what they want. Not what we want, it's what they want. Uh, so it's been a team effort. A community speed watch scheme aimed at raising awareness and educating motorists has started in Blackwell. Local councillor Clive Mosby and a group of community volunteers, together with the police, carry out random surveys across Blackwell Parish to monitor the speed of vehicles. If a vehicle is captured speeding, then they are sent a police letter advising them to watch their speed and to reduce it. The scheme is not about issuing fines, but aimed at raising awareness of speeding and making local communities safer. Classic arcade games aplenty will be on offer at Creswell Event Centre on Friday the 18th to Sunday the 20th of February as a retro gaming event is taking place. 
Defender, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Street Fighter, or just be some of the original arcade machines from the late 70s to the early 2000s that will all be available. Also on offer will be a classic games console and computers and an arcade DDR dancing stage, big screen gaming, and the 1980s tabletop electronic games, providing a great day out for all of the family. Food and drink will also be available to purchase, and tickets cost from £10. Now a service to help people who have hearing issues is available to residents across Bolsover districts. Hearing Help UK is a Derbyshire-based charity offering help and support to people suffering from a range of different hearing problems. They regularly attend Shirebrook Market to reach out to those who might benefit from information on how to make life with hearing loss easier. And as well as advice, they also offer equipment to hire and signposting as well for extra help. We went to Shirebrook to find out a little bit more. Richard, you're standing next to Hearing Help UK. What does that mean? What does it stand for? Uh, we offer services throughout Derbyshire to help hearing impaired people in their everyday lives. Uh, we offer uh, a range of equipment such as devices for listening to your TV, extra loud doorbells, uh, little devices for plugging into computers so people can communicate with the families when they're Zooming as contact is very hard these days. We don't just offer this, we also op offer loop services for shops uh, to help people communicate when they're in busy environments, uh, just to keep people communicating, which is important, or people's mental health can deteriorate if they're not able to get out and speak in their own communities. We also offer social groups. Uh, we have a social group once a month in Ripley, and we have just started a new tea mates, coffee mates, uh, we're working with Costa Coffee at the moment to get uh, reductions so hearing impaired people can meet up and chat in Costa Coffees. If anyone was sort of on the fence, perhaps a little bit cautious, not sure what to expect, what would you say to them? Come, see us, have a talk, go home, think about it and engage with us if you would like to. And finally, there's been a blooming lovely addition to Old Bolsover Yard as Sam's Flower Boutique has now opened. Stocking a range of garden and houseplants as well as flowers for all occasions, the shop is brightening up a forgotten corner of the courtyard. And on Saturday the 5th of February, Sam is holding a launch party from 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon, where there'll be a glass of Prosecco and free gifts available for the first 20 customers who spend £20 or more. Owner Samantha Keeley tells us why she's moved into the courtyard and what she can offer to customers. So tell us what, what customers might be able to buy, get, what can they find? Um, so there'll always be um, a selection of seasonal plants that are available. Um, when the weather gets a bit better, I'll have some indoor stuff as well. Um, but while it's cold, um, yeah, it's, yeah, just keep outdoor stuff. And then there'll be fresh arrangements made up, so um, ranging from about £15, um, and they can all be bespoke as well. So anything that a customer wants to order, um, they can just let me know in a couple of days, uh, with a couple of days' notice, and I can get that made up for them as well. It's really nice here at Bolsover. Um, I never wanted to have a premises. Um, I work from home, I've got a little boy. And when I first came here, it's just got something about it. It's got lots of potential. Everyone's really friendly and helpful. And um, it's a great place to hold my workshops um, for ladies to create their own masterpiece. Um, and I just wanted to be part of it, really. The most important question is, how do people get involved? How do they find you, get in touch? Um, so they can either book through Old Bowls Over Yard um, with Sarah, or they can contact me directly. So um, I'm on Facebook, it's Sam's Flower Boutique. Uh, my number's on there as well, so they can either drop a message or give me a call and we can get them booked in. Well, Sam certainly looked like she rose to the occasion to get her business up and growing. I know, I know, it was, too, it was too good to miss, I'm sorry. I hope you've enjoyed watching this week and I look forward to seeing you next week on Bolsover TV where we'll be talking to Newton Community Association about a project to restore local wildlife ponds. Stay tuned for that. For now though, goodbye.